My father was a collector, but sometimes the gene of collecting runs in families. And uh, to some others who have no value of collecting, they see that we are crazy. It is, there is something in it. There is something in it. I can't say it's insecurity. Maybe, maybe it is, I don't know. Personally, it is very satisfying for me because to me, this is Palestine. This is my country. And it's my way against occupation of Palestine. In 1948, so many of the villagers around Bethlehem and around Jerusalem came to live in Bethlehem. And uh, I believe this was the start of my collecting. This change that I've seen with the, in the life of women from their beautiful settled life in the village to their camp life was the start that provoked me later on or stimulated me to keep something of their previous culture and preserve it, as though I'm preserving their life or part of their life. I always felt that I cannot do anything in politics, but I can do something somewhere else. with these women, you are amazed at how much they work. I would ask and inquire, what did they do? And an average day would be to get up very early in the morning and make the bread and prepare the food, take it to the workers and come back and prepare the lunch for her family and then clean the house. And in the afternoon, take out their embroidery and embroider. And they sat together grandmothers, mothers, and daughters. And the embroidery passed from the grandmothers to the granddaughters. Every village has its own fabric and its own uh, embroidery patterns and its own colors. And uh, that year, 1948, was very difficult for most of them because they were not settled. They had a very, very difficult time to leave the village and adjusting to camp life was very, very difficult. And when they have a tragedy, it is the woman who starts again. And uh, you see, there were other wars that took place. And sometimes there would be refugees for the third time. They would start again. I still see them in the camps wearing embroidered dresses, having embroidery centers, producing things for sale, because they connect it with business. She is still trying, she is still embroidering. They have a sense of pride and, and identity because they make similar dresses of the village they had never seen. They wear the dress where they come from and suddenly a dress comes out all with embroidered flags and embroidered things on it that are political and they call it the intifada dress because the girls made demonstrations. I would like the Arab children to know their heritage and identify with their heritage because it gives them a kind of security, of stability, of knowing who they are, where they are from. I taught myself not to hate. If I'm going to carry hatred to Israel in my heart all the time, I am poisoning myself. I'm a slave to this hatred. So I learned to do something just the opposite, to be positive in one way or another. I know they are wrong in things, and I see the wrong, and I feel with the oppressed, but I don't want to carry hate in my heart.